Welcome back everyone to another Robo Review. Today I am going to be bringing you a review on the Venstar Bluetooth headphones. These are going to be wireless or wired headphones, but they are they're Bluetooth headphones, but you can hook up an auxiliary cable if you actually want to use them wired. These are the high fidelity sound. Uh, they claim up to 40 or I'm sorry, 23 hours of playtime. So I'm going to show you here a little bit really quick. The First of all, I always like to show you the box that it comes in. Um, you know, it's just kind of your standard, you know, it's, it's a hard box, so it's actually, the packaging quality is pretty decent. So, you know, I, I like this, you know, it's better than definitely like a brown, you know, cardboard box. So this one actually, it's hard. You could store it in here if you really wanted to. And it's just one of those ones where the, the box kind of just falls out the bottom. So anyhow, that's a box. We're gonna, uh, that's about all we're going to say about that. So here are the headphones. It comes in a, this is kind of like a nylon hard case. So it, it does have a case with them, which I always like having for the headphones. So here they are. So before I review the headphones, I'm going to show you the case has a little pouch. In this pouch is going to be your micro USB cable as well as your auxiliary audio cable. Now, nothing too special about these cables. I know I've seen some that were like braided or uh, these are just kind of your standard rubber cables. Nothing too big, so I'm going to put that in and put it off to the side. Actually, we'll just keep it right here. So, the headphones themselves. One thing that's unique about these, you'll see that they fold up. I like the ones that fold up because they make it much easier to transport as opposed to, you know, you know the big ones that just kind of fold downward. So it makes lots, allows for the case to be smaller and the headphones to scrunch up a little bit more. So they kind of come out and they snap into place. Now, <clears throat> right off the bat, these, I like the metal and the, just the entire the quality of these headsets. So this is all going to be kind of like a, I'm not sure if it's steel or it is a, it feels like a really heavy metal, but I mean, not heavy in weight, but nice, you know, heavy duty quality metal. The, now this also like the, the bands under here are also, there's metal under here. So, but the, the top over here is actually plastic and you have your rubberized, you know, padded, you know, padded piece for your head. So with all that being said, the weight is actually very, it, it's not, it's not very heavy. It, it's definitely a lighter weight headset, which I like because, you know, if it's a really heavy headset, it's going to become uncomfortable after a while. So I've used these, they did not become uncomfortable. And going more into the comfort, the padded earpiece, these are really soft. These are also meant to kind of muffle the sound from the outside world. So they are, you know, they are pretty thick. So this headset doesn't have noise canceling on it, but this kind of functions as a form of noise canceling because, it, you know, it muffles the outside world so you can't hear it as much and then all you hear is your music. So you get a sort of semi noise canceling, not a true uh, noise canceling, but it does work. And the good thing about it is, you know, a lot of the noise canceling ones out there kind of produce like a static to, you know, kind of override the the sound that's outside. So you definitely hear, you hear a difference in the sound quality when noise canceling is on as opposed to when it's not. These you do not. So as for you know, the it uses the Bluetooth 4.1 technology, so it's going to go up to about 10 meters, 33 feet, uh, very low power for the Bluetooth, which is really nice. So that's what gives these things the 23 hours of playtime on a single charge. And now going more into the sound, which is the most important thing. These things sound absolutely incredible. I know in my other reviews I've said, you know, this is the best headset I, I've listened to so far. I've said that for a few of the other ones. This one far, well, not far exceeds, but it does exceed those other headsets I've listened to. These, this is the best headset I have listened to to date. And this, that includes, you know, uh, like my Samsung level overs, Samsung level ons that are much more expensive. I like these better. They, they weigh better, they're more comfortable, and the sound is, the bass is really clear. The highs and mids are super clear. 
it, it just they sound awesome so I am you know without a doubt these are getting a five star review for just the sound alone I would give it a six star review if I could you know for the sound and comfort combined and the fact that it folds up and the quality of these it's I love these I recommend these you will love these headsets and uh, you know for a 60 ish dollar price range you cannot go wrong so you know don't pay over you know hundred fifty dollars two hundred dollars for headset headset absolutely not necessary sixty bucks will get you something incredible your music will sound great so I've talked about that a lot here so you know to finish up I just want to show you the ports under here is your auxiliary port for your cable your micro USB cable to charge the headset and then on here is going to be controls to this is another thing I really like is to control you know your volume up and down if you long press it volume will go up long press the volume down long press it will go down if you quick press it it's gonna skip to the next track um, I take that back I'm sorry that is not the case these actually have their own skip button and the pause and play button which also functions as the power button so one thing that's kind of nice about this is when these are on the side of your head you can't necessarily see them but you know if you can feel it you can kind of feel the plus and if you forget where it's at if you're good at braille um, these do have a you can kind of feel which one is is which so when you go to control your music so you're not accidentally you know skipping a track when you mean to turn the volume up and down so anyhow that is my review I hope you guys find this informative I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys if you do like it you can you know give me a helpful vote or you know a thumbs up but, but as always leave me a comment I'll try to answer as quickly as possible anything I can so hope to see you guys in the future take care everyone